I'm Professor Robert Brathe, and I'd like to talk to you today about an operations management formula called the Taguchi loss function. Like any formulas in math, it's sometimes important to use the technology available, and we're going to use Excel today to take a look at how to calculate the answers for some problems related to the Taguchi loss function using Excel, using some best practices that I've employed to use Excel to make it a little bit easier to understand. So for this particular class, we were provided with a Excel template uh, using a lot of the different formulas involved in project management, including the break-even analysis. And this chart here helps you to calculate the Taguchi loss function. One of the first things I like to do is, uh, you know, give myself a little bit more room on one of these spreadsheets, you know, add some columns, you know, and you know, I'm using numbers here, but you can do this in Excel as well. And then what I like to do is copy the entire column and paste it a few more times so I don't mess with the original formulas of the spreadsheet. In this particular one, you don't want to touch the pink areas because those are auto-calculated. So let's take a look at a couple of the problems uh, in this particular textbook that are at the end of... Uh, chapter 5. And these uh, deal with, uh, all have to deal with the Taguchi uh, loss formula. So we'll look at number 2. And so as you see here, the answer key indicates by, by longhand how to come up uh, with the solution. So suppose the specification for a part are 6 plus or minus 0.2. And uh, this is the loss function. Uh, you determine what would happen if uh, x the, the loss if x equals uh, 6.05 inches. So we will plug in uh, the target specification uh, that they mentioned in this problem uh, right here. So I always like enable, uh, numbering it too. So this is problem number one. And uh, so the target specification is supposed to be six. Our dimension value of what we actually measured is 6.05 and uh, the projected loss plugging in the last figure ends up being $17 uh, per unit. So that is how to solve uh, for uh, that particular problem. Similarly, a little bit further down, uh, they talk about a quality characteristic has a specification of 0.2 plus or minus 0 0.02, uh, and um, you need to find the value given uh, these particular uh, numbers. Uh, the product will require a pair of $30. Find the value of K and state the Taguchi loss function. So again, we're going to go up to this category this time, and we'll no label this one number three. The deviation from the target is 0.2. Uh, the loss associated uh, with that kind of uh, deviation is 30, and that results in a potential uh, loss of $75,000. And then, um, uh, again, just with the information in the uh, problem, we want to make sure we fill out the rest of the columns in this particular one. So we're going to go 0.2 for the target specification. And we're going to plug in 0 0.205 for the dimensional value. And then plug in 75,000 right here. And that shows a loss of $1.87. So with a lot of problems in textbooks, you'll find some of these will uh, interrelate quite well. So uh, this number four, they say for the situation in three, what are the economic design specifications if the cost of inspection and adjustment is 750? So what I like to do, since it's referenced that we're going to use the same stuff from number three, I'll copy this and paste it over where I had it before. We'll label this one number four, and we'll give us a little bit more breathing room for potential future problems. And so in this case, uh, it just asks that we um, make some adjustments here and uh, take a look at um, you know, using the logic and the solve problem, the economic specifications, which would be between 0.19 and 0.210. Uh, 
And uh, so when we take a look at that, you'll see our specifications are within that limit. Um, again, you know, uh, problem that illustrates that specific limits can be determined economically based on the Taguchi model. So we really didn't do anything else there other than take our data from number three and apply it to number four.